The sanitary situation in France is, is pretty good. Of course, we are very careful about the, uh, the Delta variant and we are still uh, having some restrictions in place regarding the, the red and the orange countries. But we expect uh, air traffic and, and passenger traffic to, to, to recover for the summer. Uh, at the moment, uh, we are seeing that for the rail traffic, I mean, the, 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 the level would be pretty good, even uh, reaching the level that we, we knew in, 20, uh, in 2019. And regarding international air traffic, especially European air traffic, we expect uh, to reach 65% of the of the 2019 level, so it's uh, it's still a recovery. It's not fully back to normal. Obviously, we won't have uh, the Asian countries, for for example, uh, uh, to come uh, for, for for tourism purposes in France. But it's still picking up quite uh, quite quickly now. What about uh, car traffic? A lot of people in the pandemic have tried to avoid public transport, and despite France's efforts to get more people traveling via train, what are you seeing right now in terms of road activity, and, and what are your projections for the summer in terms of car traffic? Car traffic and train traffic, they, they are pretty much back to normal uh, for, for, for daily travels and for the summer season, I was this morning at Gare de Lyon, which is one of the, of the main train stations in France. Uh, for example, for this weekend, we expect one million passengers to travel by train, which is the, the 2019 level. So we are back to normal. I think there is, a, there is confidence from uh, passengers regarding the, the, the sanitary restrictions, the sanitary measures. Obviously, people are, are still wearing the mask, for example, at all times in public transport. So it's pretty well respected and, uh, and I can see on the road and on the rail confidence being back as well. Here in the UK, we have the NHS app, which gives us our, our COVID certification. Right now, it's not linked up to the EU-wide system, which is creating some issues for UK travelers hoping to go to Europe. Do you see that them linking up in the near future? Can you give us any update on the prospect of the UK joining up to the EU system? No, we, we, we do hope that uh, the UK will join the, the EU system, or at least to be a uh, interoperable with our system. Uh, in France, we, we started to use our Green Pass uh, about a month ago now. We did many tests uh, with the overseas territories, with, the, uh, with Corsica, and it's working pretty well. And I'm pleased that uh, within the European uh, area, now the Green Pass is fully available. But uh, obviously, as I was saying, we are quite careful about the Indian variant uh, happening at the moment, both in the UK and in Europe. So, but we hope that uh, from a, an operational point of view, we'll be able to, to, um, to find the right, uh, the right uh, operational procedure so, so that the digital green pass is, uh, is, is, uh, is possible and, and can communicate with the UK system.